Hey, remember me? <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> gonna cut out the waffle. I had my bike serviced the other day. Red line. Fantastic place to go. Kestrel in Coventry is now closed down. Left all the customers in the lurch. Left a lot of the staff in the lurch. Uh, anyway, I'm not gonna go into that. I came back from having a service and they bled the, uh, the brakes and the clutch for me. On the way back, it felt the clutch was, was getting soft, I'd have to pump it. Anyway, long story short, like a complete dumbass, I thought, I'll come in the garage, I'll pull the, pull the clutch in, crack the bleed nipple, see if a little spurt of air comes in. Anyway, I completely and utterly cocked it up. I had no, no clutch. You know, the uh, the arm, the, sorry, the uh, lever was just coming back. Absolutely nothing there, flopping around. Yeah, I know, you're thinking, what a dick. Anyway. I went and bought myself um, a bleed kit uh, and I found out with the clutches on these, hydraulic clutches, you reverse bleed them. So in other words, instead of going from the um, master cylinder here, you go from down here. Basically, all the kit is, is a syringe with a tube. Now the kit I got was from Total Bleed Solutions not sponsored by them and these say that and it was from eBay for about four pounds something or other um, you get two syringes a little adapter on the top and um, the uh, the clear pipe now it says for motorcycles and for, uh, for mountain bikes but I actually struggle to get the pipe so I think the pipe was a little bit narrow so I just warmed it up and then expanded the pipe to fit over the bleed nipple um, I believe I think I believe the inside diameter of that is a six mil, but don't quote me on that. Um, so basically um, what I've done, I opened the reservoir, uh, connected the pipe up, got a six mil spanner, sorry, an eight mil spanner, opened it up and just kept on pushing the fluid through slowly until bubbles, bubbles start rising in there and then just keep going. And then what I did, with the um, other syringe, because it's only a small reservoir, I just kept on sucking it out and popping it back into the bottle. Um, and then once I uh, was happy enough that I've bled it all the way through, I've then locked it off. It's all locked back up. And now I have pressure on the clutch and it's so, so much better than what it was previously. It feels so much stronger. So, what I also did is because I watched another YouTube video and there's a little bleed nipple here. So I pulled the lever in, cracked that off, a little tiny bit of air spurted out along with some fluid. So I thought, okay, that's got any air out of the, um, the mechanism, the pump, whatever you want to call it. Um, but I put my back to square one. I just, the clutch was all flopping all over the place. So I repeated the process again. So it is a case of just crack it open, make sure all the air is out, <coughs> slowly squeeze the, uh, the syringe, and that pushes all the, way, all the air in, out of this clutch pipe, all the way up. And you see tiny little air bubbles just rising in the reservoir. And then also as all those air bubbles have gone out, the fluid starts to rise up. Uh, and then, hopefully, job done. That feels so much better. Soon find out when I fire it up and try and put it into gear. You know, like the clunk, stall or run away from me. Well, bear with me, let's give it a try. So what I'll add on to that is, I think there's enough fluid in there now. I might just add a dribble more. So I've still got a bit of fluid left in the, uh, in the syringe. And then pop the rubber diaphragm. Gotta make sure this seats. Really nice. Obviously it takes up a bit of space in there. 
So wipe up any, any fluid. Okay, that's nice and tight. That's a good feel, that is. That's all locked off. Pop the spanner off. Oh, the pipe. As you can see there, I'll spread it out a little bit. I'll pull the fluid around from there. Prop the little rubber cap back on. I also um, I wasn't too sure whether to use dot four or dot five point one. From what I can read, it's five point one in these, but you can use dot four. I've briefly read, and it's it is briefly read that the dot five stuff um, is slightly better than the dot four, just because of the uh, it's not so hydroscopic. Um, Correct me if I'm wrong there, it's just what I briefly, I briefly read about. So anyway, 5.1 is in there. Um, and let's get this fun thing fired up and see how it clutch goes. First time I've ever done this. I don't want messing around with bikes. Um, but with certain bits like this, I'd rather a tech work on it. So that seems to go okay. And I have a decent clutch. That just feels so much better than before. Well, I wasn't intending on making that video. Um, because I've not really been in the in the mood, but my past videos I've explained to you, sort of the mojo hasn't been there. Um, but yeah, this is this is all good. So we'll go for a ride. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks to the new subscribers, and thank you so much for the ones that have hung around. Um, it's got to be like a month or so before the last time I was the last time I posted. So thank you guys. I really appreciate that. Uh, if this has been any uh, any help to you, please uh, click on the like button, and if you haven't subscribed, please do. Thanks a lot. Take care. Ride safe.